Morning, morning time, morning time, morning time. <clears throat> Hope everybody's feeling good this morning. Um, I was trying to get the adjustment, everything together. Uh, morning, happy, happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Yeah. All right. Well, you see, I couldn't sleep too much last night, thinking and whatnot, trying to move through the night, you know, and I decided to go ahead and revamp, come back and reposition myself. Well, still me, still my thoughts, um, but reposition. Um, folks, you know me to be a very positive person, and that's not, you know, on, uh, that's not just by accident, that's by nature. And, um, you know, I got to I'm finding something extremely difficult and hoping that somebody, well, maybe if not, that's fine, can identify with what I'm feeling um, in the whole scheme of things. Um, I've got to I'm going to keep on pushing with this channel. I'm going to keep on pushing with the platform. I'm going to keep on riding for family. Um, <laughs> There's a lot going on, a lot going on that I've um, that I'm aware of, been made aware of. Um, I've, you know, we have, or I have a capability, and I'm sure that you all have capabilities too, of blocking things out and fine tuning, um, so that you can either zoom in on things or stay macro or micro. All right, so. Um, <sighs> The love, the 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 memories, the realities of family and the close, the blood, the bond, the loss, the sharing, um, the familiar pain, um, all those things um, unite people, and they've kept my family on a united front all these years. With, you know, hiccups along the way, you know, as families go through their things. Um, my mother. My mother's very, um, was a very prideful person and taught we Williams kids what it is to be strong, you know, and my dad, but I'm going to just talk about my mother for a moment. moment. Um, Shirley. Shirley had pride beyond no other. And um, that's something I think that has really taken hold of my life because it's guided me through so many things. It's put that rod up my spine to allow me to stand straight and keep my head up in the face of challenges and setbacks and turmoil. And I've become a professional numbing at being numb and having that ability to novocate myself, <laughs> um, if there's such a word. This is a very difficult time for me now, this instant, because I am trying to step away from my pride, step away from who I am. 
just so that you can understand the pain that is riddled through this family. Because, because of somebody's maniacal mind. And you know how I feel about bullies. You know, um, but there is no such island to ship them all to. Uh, so we have to live with them. And, um, you know, people, people take stances and people govern their small amount of times that they have on this planet in in such ways that are just you know you're just not gonna you're just not gonna be able to follow their their thoughts you know and to try to get into somebody else's mind and try to figure out why why a person would spend so much time trying to destroy another person um that's not godly. That's just not right. And they'll be dealt with. So I don't try to change and alter every battle. Every battle, a win's going to look a little different. It depends on the participants, who the soldiers are, what are you fighting for, you know? Um, and my fight, truly everybody, has been to um, hold the family to the light. The way that my mother would want me to do. And that's what I've been trying to do so diligently. And emphatically through these years is keep a stiff chin for the family to let you know that we're not being bullied to try to turn the cheek. You know, it's not embarrassment. It's just, I was always taught to be strong, you know, keep it pushing, move along. You can't get it, get something else. And you can get something else, you get more. But this apparently is a situation that, um, you know, is a little bit different. And being in my 50s now, it's a lot different. Because we're at a different stage in our lives now. And, um, you know, we don't have the time that we used to have. So those memories, you know, they don't fade but they have me thirsting for them even more. And um, time is slipping. And so I have to revamp my approach, perhaps. I just wanted to welcome in some of my realities. And my realities is pain. My realities is discomfort. My realities is disbelief that, that somebody has that ability or that, you know, that cold of a heart to just go so hard at trying to ruin somebody's life, you know, and hold somebody captive. And that's pretty much what's happening. That's what's happening with Wendy. That's what's happening with the family. We can't get a hold of Wendy. Um, the governing bodies that have been appointed by the courts can. And as they pull on the lines to have Wendy, you know, do what they want her to do, we sit and wait and face the public, regardless as to whether I'm on the platform or just in the local supermarket, you know, somebody's gonna know and somebody's gonna ask, how's your sister, right? Oh man, and that's so not what 
I'm accustomed to. I'll speak on my behalf to just be cowering down and people crying for you. You remember, I don't know, my wife actually told me, she said, you know, Wendy used to always say, and I was thinking it was always me, but we always say, don't cry for me, Argentina. And she did, because back when Evita and don't cry for me, Argentina, you were supposed to have been immortal. Sorry. You know, but you know, you got to, you got to pick a, pick a lane. And my lane is to wear my pain inside. So I'm going to slowly revert back to who I am because I've now told you all and I will share with you all my feeling of pain. This channel will always be about positive vibes. I know that as you put things out, you also tend to get things back. And that's not from anybody else but yourself, because when you're saying these words, when I'm forming these words and these thoughts, they're still embedded in my brain. So logically, it's still going to have it's still manifested inside my mind, carrying me through the day as people pelt me with questions and things like that. So I have to build a force. I have to have a, a front, whether it's united or not. I have to have a front. Right. To make sure that I'm OK and can make it through my day. Right. So uh, I asked in the very beginning if anybody can identify with such a, a task, you know, but um, that's what I do. I, I'm sorry, I don't have the chat up. Let me go ahead and pop it up. Um, so I got a call yesterday from a tabloid asking me about you know, the banks and what's happening and what's going on and my feelings. And, you know, I get calls a lot. And um, my response has always been, you know what? I don't get involved. I don't know. Please, Psh, Wendy's fine. You know, we, you know, we can't wait. She's so proud of her, you know, whatever, like that. And you know what? It's almost like I've got myself accustomed to saying and routinely that everything is okay. But it's not, it's not, it's not okay. It's not okay to be bullied, you know? It's not okay to tie up somebody's money. It's not okay to act like you're the, or, or, or try to, you know, or, or assume a governing, governing force over somebody who has a whole family here with the safety net and the capabilities of holding her, in a, in a, holding her with love. And I don't think that there's a price that anybody can put on any kind of device, mechanism, facility, anything that's going to be stronger than the love and the comfort of family. So that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get Wendy back to her nest, right? With the rest of her belongings as well. I think that would be only appropriate if it's hers she should be able to step away with her belongings. Um, and that's what we're trying to achieve. I am, um, I'm still under contemplation within myself on how I want to approach things. I know that we have lots of people out there who are quite educated and savvy with the law and can understand things. I've seen people in the chat who've offered legal, you know, just, you know, just they, they they've shown some understanding and, um, you know, I'll be honest with you. I've swayed away. I've strayed away from looking at those chats, those comments, because, you know, I am not, I haven't attached myself to Wendy's pockets. And I think that that's the way I've been looking at it. And that's the thing that's been keeping me astray. I said that just yesterday to somebody, you know, who called me. I don't get involved with anybody's pockets, but my own, you know, and I've got to change that thought process because there's more than just money attached to this, you know, this um, enslavement. Um, and so I have to understand that and evolve and figure out how I'm going to still support and defend my sister and try to help make sure that she's restored. She's been coming along beautifully, folks, in terms of just where she was and how she is. As you know, I don't get a chance to speak with her like I would like to. 
I wish I could speak with Wendy more. There's so many things I'd like to ask, so many identifiable questions that I can try to peek in, even though I can't be there with her. I can try to, you know, learn and get better understanding through dialogue. But you never know who's around. You never know what the circumstances are or the conditions. When I've been getting on the phone with Wendy, another thing that I've been doing is, again, numbing myself, imagining that she's just in a room and I'm in a room and we're just talking. You know, forgetting, trying to forget that we have other members of the family on the call sometimes because we're patched through because we have to just deal with what we can get as we talk to our talk to our sister, you know, and my dad, his daughter. Right. And so. I will be here and, you know, I will be here not just for me and what I'm going through. Um, but you know what? I've got to, I've got to remain positive. And I see Lawanda, I see what you said. I see what you're saying. You know, the people don't care. I understand, but you know what? I, I care about the duration of my life in a big way. And you know what? I got a huge angel up there that sings to me every morning. And you know, she's beneath my, my wing. She's beneath my, she's underneath me every day. And, uh, and I can't deviate from being positive folks. You know, and you know, the same old slapstick, whatever. I'm the same person. I can't, I can't, because that would be a detriment to so many people. So many people rely on me and my personality, you know, and my ability to move forward and carry and help and my consistency. And it's become who I am. It's stitched into my fabric and I can't stop. But I, what I will do is allow myself to, you know, make the proper turns so that I can address this and be most helpful. Because the last thing I'm trying to do is work against the process of help, of, of assisting Wendy. So I want to say this. I want to say it. Um, you know, the other day when I, I saw the... The other day when I saw the video or the special with uh, <clears throat> with my niece on there, you know, that's like the next generation. It is. <laughs> and there's a sense of pride, you know, um, but just to, um, you know, it was, a, it was a rough, that was a rough one. That was a rough one for me, and I'm going to carry you through my the emotion that I had while I try to suppress the emotion that I have now, because it's something that you know is just so you know, and I'm and you know the tears and the whatever have you that I'm going through is only because I've been so solid on how I've been that this is really it's really rough, it's really a struggle, and if anybody out there can understand that, I beg of you, please email me at trainwithtommy at gmail .com because uh, it's a rough one. <clears throat> but to see my sister up there, see a family member up there with the next generation, you know, explaining, which is going to draw pity and, 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 and understanding ultimately. And I should have understood that when I first viewed the video, but the only thing I was attached to was the pity that's going to be forthcoming. And the fact that I've never seen, or I've never stood behind anybody pitying me or my family. I understand that some people might say, oh man, wow, that was horrible, Tommy. I'm so sorry about your mother and things. I understand. But you see how I I definitely, it's appreciation for concern is how I translate pity. Something about pity is just, it's, it's so, it's so kryptonic. To me, it's something that's just, you know, just I'm afraid. I don't know how to deal with pity. So you have to excuse me. You have to excuse me for the other evening as I was speaking out of deflection of pity instead of absorption of concern. 
And I think that that's the best way I can explain how things were and how things are now. I'm gonna come on again this evening. When I come on again this evening, I'm gonna be a lot stronger, I'm gonna tell you that. You know, cause you get one of these, you get one of these, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, that's where Wendy and I are very similar. We're very, we're extremely similar folks with our, our, our bullheadedness, our, our little, I mean, it might seem cocky, but it's just that we just are solid and we just have pride. You know, we have pride and there's, you know, I, I would say there's no deviating from that, but apparently there is and I'm growing and I appreciate that. And I appreciate God for allowing me the opportunity to see what must be done to be truly effective at this point for family. So hallelujah on that. All right, so I did it. I did it. Now I can finally get some rest. Look at me. I'm in shambles. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's just the thing. And it's funny how I looked right at this message. Yeah, I know. That's what I feel. I feel it. I feel it now more than ever. Mm. No tissues in sight, huh? No. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to sit here and babble all the morning. I'll tell you that, you know, part of me wants to get outside and swim. Um, but I think I may. I think that might help me. I might take the water level in the pool up about an inch or two because of these tears coming out. But it's going to be all right. I'll drown myself in sorrow, but I'll be better tomorrow. You better believe that. As a matter of fact, we don't have to wait that long. I feel better now. I do. Thank you, everybody, for getting up early with me. Thank you for these messages that are on here. Let me take a look at the chat. You guys are fantastic, and I certainly do appreciate you all. And I certainly do appreciate my family. <sighs> Boy. You know, uh, I was just thinking. You know, you say put family first, but you can't. It's impossible. You know, it's impossible to really be um, there for family without being there for yourself. And, uh, the one thing I'm realizing today is that you never can spend enough time by yourself. You know. Top of the morning to you growing up, Jamaica. Wowzers, early morning to Mr. T and the crew. Yes, Miss Kimmy, morning time. Morning time. Hey, 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 Apple Crescent, okay. Starting your, not starting your day, but, well, this is evening time. I believe you said a 14-hour difference, I think you said once before. So thank you so much for taking a moment out as we brush our shoulders off and prepare ourselves for a brand new day. Let us pray. I hope this angle is working out all right with you. I've been trying to work on the perfect angle, but then I'm, this is just the same one that I always do. You know, I want to try to look up and try to you know, have you not know, look down and see these bags and stuff because of no sleep and worrying and all this nonsense that I do in my reality. Um, but then I swim and I laugh and I have such good times during the day. You know, and I think I think I have such good times and I have such um, eventfully funny days, fun, humorous. Every day is humorous, you know, but I think they overshadow, you know, the uh, the gloom which is great. I'm just peeking on the chat, everybody. Just bear with me and thank you for hanging out. It's more than a hangout. 
Thank you very much, Apple Crescent. <laughs> Let me see what happened to the chat here. Oh, man. Here it is. Apple Crescent, thank you so much. You know, hey, I guess you might as well keep it really real. Thanks for the cash app. Of, uh, thanks for the cash app and your thoughtfulness. I'm gonna put it in a in a strong box and hold on to it, you know, for that for that ham sandwich Wendy and I are gonna get as soon as I see her, you know. I'm telling you, and I'm gonna do it too. You think I'm playing? You know, anything I get, anything I get, folks, and I'm gonna tell you straight out because if you wanna put, if you wanna go ahead and cash app, I I appreciate that because now that the that everything is wide open and we know that you know things deal with money too although I don't know how much and what's involved and I and I really am trying to say I don't care you know because I really I I I can't I, I can't say you know and I can't even say some of the things I used to say cuz I was going to say and you know what cuz I don't but I do I do care I do care I care a great deal I care I care. So uh, if you send it, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to spend it. So send it and I'll put it on the side, you know, for when I get together with Wendy and we take our super reggae ride. Growing up Jamaican. All right. You're all right. Thank you for patching in. Are you in Jamaica or are you uh, transformed and now you're here? Yeah. All right. I think it's time. I think it's time as a family that you all need to get involved. You're right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. You're right. And I just get a little concerned as to how involved. But you know what? As long as I think I'm going to just let let the universe and let God take me, you know, and use me, you know, for whatever I need to do here is beyond me and my world. It is, it is in my little world, you know, it's big, it's big. And uh, apparently it's, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn as I go. There's a lot of things I still am in the dark about, but you know what? You know why I'm in the dark? Because I put myself in the dark. That's why I'm in the dark, folks. That's the reality. It's not that nobody shares anything with me. It's not like family doesn't talk, communicate, try to get some understanding. It's that Tommy has always just put himself in the dark. And that's the problem. That is a problem. Now I'm looking at it because it is a problem. It could form a wedge. So somebody has to move. Somebody has to budge. Somebody has to evolve. And that somebody's been me. And with each word that comes out of my mouth, I, things become more clear. But I'm not embarrassed and I have my pride and I'm not, you know, there's no shame on it because, you know, thank God. Guess what, everybody? We have another day to make it right. We have another day to make it right. So we'll see how we're going to do it. Might reach out to some people who know some things and can share some things and, uh, you know, I do what I got to do. That's what life's all about. You got to do what you got to do, right? NYC, oh, okay, all right, JA, cool. Yeah, I'd love to be in New York too, right about now. Yeah, I believe it. And we're gonna work this. We're gonna work it, folks. We're gonna work this, you know. One way or another, I always say, we're gonna come out a winner. Because you know what? <laughs> Not every winning team is a winning team. You understand me? But we're a winning team, and I'm going to prove it to you. It's not, it's not the trophy. It's the feeling.
All right. Well, let me go put my swim trunks on and get out there. I wasn't planning on going swimming right now, but I feel like I need to. So I'm going to shut this down. I can't believe it. Wow. So much talk, so much emotion, and only 30 minutes. The pressure. How do people do our shows? I have no idea. Especially when you put your heart into it. All right. So um, peace and blessings, everybody. Have a wonderful Saturday, and thanks for watching all the time. Not some of the time, all the time. All right. And while you're here, I want to share one more thing with you. Unfortunately, I don't have it pulled up. So it might be a moment. Can you give me a second? You probably will still see me. and You might see a green screen, which will just be the backdrop. But I just want to do one thing, folks, before I get out. I always promise my wife I'm going to do it. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Let me let me see what I can pull up. I got it. Now I'm gonna get better at this. I've been saying it forever, but I am. One of these days, I'm pushing buttons. Let me see. What Okay, so we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, folks, let me just tell you, you know, so it's not, don't look for anything like, oh, he's pulling, he's going to really do some stuff. Let me hold on for that. <laughs> and some people who've been on here before already know what I'm getting ready to do. But, you know, this is actually the um, cruise, everybody. This is the cruise. I just want to take it to another level. You know, we make shifts. We got to make shifts in life, folks. So, you know, I, I you know, one thing with me is that I'm a little ADHD. So, you know, um, sometimes I'm... Anyway, I want to do that. I had to do it, folks. You know why? Because the cruise is coming up. The cruise is coming up this year. This year, folks, and it's very small, and that's the issue. This year, from November 7th through the 10th, 2024, and that's all I'm going to say. And if you could read more, read it. If not, hang out for the next flyer, because we got to make that bigger. I... um. <laughs> I had a wonderful time on the last cruise. This is something we put together a while ago. This whole channel is something that we put together a long time ago, folks. Um, I don't know if they're, I'm, I always try to speak to people, and when I come on the channel, to go back just to you know try to you know have you understand how this whole thing got started because this channel was here and got established because of pain. It was pain during the pandemic. It was the pain when I had COVID. It was the pain when I lost when we lost our mother. It, you know, it's pain just, you know, dealing and dealing with people passing, right? Because it's like, you know, we're going the process of life. And then we attached ourselves here at this channel and we started having a lot of things in common. And then I saw how people were riding for me and I was like, dang, they sure are consistent. Remind me of somebody else I know. So I said, wow, 
a place with people just like myself, people riddled with pain, looking for the comfort and laughter in life. And you know what? This is it. So I kept the channel and we grew. And then I started coming up with some different ideas, you know, that were given to me by the people in the channel. You should start a separate little group, you know, what are we going to be called? Then my dad came up with the Tommy Cats, right? So here we are, the Tommy Cats. That's the premier group within the channel. And we have our little talks and meetings and stuff like that. And we have our closer knit family within the family. And then also everybody's welcome to come out for the Positive Vibes Cruise each year, which is taking place this year from November 7th through the 10th. So now you understand the channel as we grow the more you'll know. So, you know, I um, I love you folks who've been riding with me for so long. You know, I have no choice. You know, we've known each other now for a long time and you all showed me consistency and you showed me support. You showed me a lot of times the way, you know, because, you know, sometimes I can get astray and sometimes things could have been a lot worse, you know, because emotion and instinct and that knee jerk reaction can get you in a situation. And I'm so glad I have checkpoints in my life. And you all have become a real big checkpoint for me. And I have a big checkpoint in my family too. A big checkpoint. A checkpoint that a lot of times I look away from. A big checkpoint that a lot of times I, <laughs> I just, um, I, I ignore. Because when you know when you have different personal personalities, you know a lot of times you shun away or you stray away or you 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 you, you know you don't feel really feel comfortable talking about everything with the person because you know one person's a straight shooter, well everybody's a straight shooter in the family, but one person is you know more by the book, and one person is more of a I got to figure out things to 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 keep myself happy because I'm a free bird. And my sister Wanda is not a free bird. My sister Wanda is very detailed and she's consistent. We're all consistent, but she's that person folks. She's that person. And I'm so glad I have her. She's a great big sister, just like Wendy. So uh, on that note, <clears throat> I am really going to be out of here because I was trying to go in a positive and a fun way and direction, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work right now. So uh, you all take care. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for the time. Thanks for the moment. And, uh, and thank you much, very much for your support. Again, positive vibes. And contemplate on that cruise because, uh, you know, really consider that cruise because it's a great way to, um, you know, get away and and attach yourself to just a good time and, so, and and just be guaranteed that you'll be around some great people. Because last time we went, we sat, we we did our whole little captain's table thing. Folks, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boater and stuff like that. So I had my captain's hat and, you know, we broke bread and had fun and, you know, laughed and danced and went out and, you know, did everything they had, you know, comedy out there and, and different things going. And we were just, we, we, we did it all together. And it was, um, it was very nice and very well attended. And I'm looking forward to the same activities and the same stuff on a bigger ship, Oasis of the Seas. You know, there's no, you know, floating and getting seasick on something that size. You know, folks, it's an all-star time. And that was my first time going on a cruise too, my wife and mine. And I tell you, it's definitely the way to go. But I'm not going to go again until our next annual cruise because... I want to ensure that we have around the right, we're around the bright people and uh, you can't go wrong with um, the Tommy Williams show, positive vibes. I also want to share one more thing with you before I go. My wife, I talk about um, frequently and there's so many things that she's up to these days, you know, while I'm on here and trying to pull my, my life together, you know, my wife is out there doing everything under the sun. You know, I mean, when I say everything under the sun, I mean, she is like doing so many great things. And uh, um, <clears throat> she, uh, this is one of the things she's doing right now, folks. I'm trying to pull it together. I'm not used to having this much uh, 
<laughs> stuff in my nose. It just, it just pushing me. Hey, Nita, you have a rag or a tissue, something like that? <laughs> Can I use your sleeve or, you know, you have bell bottoms on. I use the bottom of your pants. Please. I need a sponge. Let me stick it in my nose. All right, folks, this is the Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority, folks. Um, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. But that's not the most polite thing to do, blow my nose on set, right? This is a set. All right, hold on, folks. I have an idea. Okay, folks, I'm back. Yeah, well, you know, hey, uh, uh, oh, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Zeta Rho Omega Chapter, uh, in partnership with, and I'm just going to read this because you know what, this is, um, I, I, you know, hey, well, I got some ideas for the next time I could take a shot, you know, uh, folks, I'm, I'm not really technical. I'm not savvy with technology, but I try. But I'd like to do stuff. And look, folks, when you're doing stuff, let's promote it. Let's do it here. All right? Let's do it here. Now, where was I? Habitat for Humanity and Broward as the... Okay, wait a minute. Shredding and Electronic Recycling Day. That's what it's all about, folks. Saving the planet. Right? Because we could take care of our mental health, but if we have a disgusting planet, my gosh, what's going to happen to our physical health? So my wife is out there doing her part tomorrow, and I'll be putting on my hard hat so I can accompany her and the ladies of AKA as we clean up and shred shredding and electronics recycling day. Join us for a day of free and secure document shredding and electronic waste recycling. Nice, huh? Sunday, February 25th, 2024, 12 o'clock p.m. to 4 p.m. Document shredding from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Habitat Restore of Broward located. Yep. So we have all the things. And you know what? Acceptable items to bring? Huh. Check this out. Computer towers, LCD, LED computer monitors. You know how many times you see those things sticking around? You know, during COVID, I saw one out behind um, the Salvation Army. Isn't that crazy? But you know what I did? I got it. I picked it up. I brought it home. And my wife said, don't bring that in here because, you know, sometimes I bring stuff in. You can, I, I don't know. It was like when I was a kid. I used to collect acorns and rocks and funny shaped stuff. And I have a draw full of stuff upstairs in the 50s. Here I am in my 50s. I'm still collecting stuff. But you know what? I mean, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. The monitors. So the monitors. Think about it. The monitors, right? Some people have set up their desk with oval offices. They have monitors and stations all the way around. I think that's the coolest thing. They'll slide one screen on a flat screen, and it'll shift to another monitor. That's the most baffling thing. It's like a magic trick to me. How in the world? I didn't see any paper or something flash across the in-between space. How did that happen? You know, but uh, at any rate, some people don't know what to do with them, so they want to get rid of them. And if you do, bring them out tomorrow. Habitat for Humanity, partnership. Renita Williams, my wife, she put it all together, and I'm proud of her. Printers, copiers, servers, projectors, networking equipment, routers, USP, Battery backups, VCRs, and DVD players. Damn, they're going all the way back. You better not take that out there and get shredded. You might be able to get some real money for that. I'm talking currency. That stuff's turning into collectibles. It's a teen app. Uh, but it's a teen app team effort. Oh, so um, it's a team effort, and uh, it's going to be nice. 
with the cell phones and stuff. All right, well, look, that's enough. And I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be nice. All right, so as we keep on keeping on everybody and celebrating Black History Month, thank you so much, Apple Crescent. You know, Apple Crescent, I tell you, you know, hey, that's all right. You are definitely pro-black, you know? I appreciate you, Apple, more than you realize. You know, thank you very much, everybody. It is Black History Month, and we want to definitely put the spotlight and shine the light on. Did you mention Alphas? Alphas? Yeah, I did talk about the Alphas. I got the shy of the shirt on, it. Celebrate Black History Month. That's right, everybody. Take time out. Know your heritage. You know, um, they just don't show and they just don't do enough these days you know, for our, for our youth, but, you know, we got to have those small conversations within our homes, you know, with our, with the family members and even, you know, individuals who are just interested or, or open to learning about the past. There's lots of kids out there who would love to, I used to sit Indian style and sit and listen to my aunt pod, you know, and she was actually born into slavery. She's on my dad's side with a name like pod, right? Pod, right? That's something. But I think that, I don't know if that was a name name or not. You know, come to think of it, I don't know if that was a real name, but, you know, listen, let me tell you something. Heavy times, real deep conversations, you know, something that you definitely want to um, not pull up a snack, but you definitely want to pull up a tissue box and learn, you know, and we don't do enough of that these days. But I do my portion. I'll tell you that. I definitely do. You got to pay it forward, people, because people are going to get out there as empty shells, not know how they got there, what they're doing, what their purpose is, and everybody's going to be defunct unless we do something about it. So everybody play your role, be in control of this planet. Take a look at Janet, she's in control. All right, so Apple, I see you. And thank you so much, Antoine Edwards. Thank you, man. It's good to see you back, Ant. Ant live in the building. Who else we got? Hold on, let me go ahead and shout a couple people out. Wendy always said you were free spirit is like a who? Oh yeah. Let me see that. What happened there? Let me let me take a look. That's a nice one. Let me see. It's always nice. Let me see here. Wendy said. Hey, hey, hey. When he said, when he said, Wendy said you were a free spirited, a free spirit like her, but wonder very detailed. And structured. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hit it on the head with that. Right on the cabeza. Boop. Right? You got it. That's Wanda. Tight, but right. Damn. And that makes you so uptight. You know? Me, at least. Because I, sometimes I try to be right. I'm right. You got to pull back. It's about positive energy. You got to do this. I'm not doing that. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at this. It's about protected effect. You know, I'm like, I can see so clearly now. Is that rain? No. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm going to jump in the pool, Nate. Uh, yeah, but well, man, I'll tell you. But uh, man, you got to love dynamics, folks. Just imagine if everybody was just a prototype. First of all, do you remember that movie? Do you remember that music? Who remembers that music? And who could name, not that tune, but name where it came from? Oh my gosh, I'm plugged in. Wendy's plugged in. I could do that with Wendy right now and she would say, right, it's, and I'm not gonna say it, but who's gonna say it? Here it is again, let me do it again, just in case you missed it. Um, we all don't come out like prototype prototypes and everybody is the same, like dun dun dun, da -da 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 -dun, dun dun dun, and this is the, um, this is the rubber glue stamp, mm, or the rubber stamp. Mm, you're getting it. Boom. Make another one. Now, you heard the whole thing. So, what do you think? Anybody know? Name that. Name that time. I'll tell you. You don't know. You don't know. Y'all folks ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for... I'll give you a hint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody knows. I see. Nobody knows. The music for the circus. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was an easy bailout. But you know what? More than that, it was the Bugs Bunny. Because they had Bugs Bunny when they do the, um, the rubber stamp. 
and it was like dun, 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 dun. I forgot anyway who cares uh, who cares now I know it's time for me to get in the pool Stephanie Risby I'm sure you'll agree all right folks I did, I'm I'm kind of like you see I'm kind of bringing my um um I'm I'm trying to land the vessel so I can land myself back into the day and and keep it pushing. Anita's over there jamming. Yeah. All right, folks. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Have a great day, everybody. I think I think this is it. I think this is it. You know. You know. I just want to. I just want to get out with a a real natural vibe. Positive vibes, positive vibes. Gotta have those positive vibes. Oh, yeah. You gotta have them. But when you got them, you gotta keep them. That's the problem. Everybody's trying to steal your vibe. Yeah, you gotta hold on tight, folks. We're not gonna let anybody steal our vibe. Team Williams, everybody, keep us in prayer. We're holding it down and we're united. We're a united front. I guess everybody was just waiting for me. I'm always on a late bus. I was always on a late bus as a kid. And I guess some things never change. So, you know, I managed to grab that that fender in the back of the bus and hold on tight. And I'm pulling myself onto the bus. I'm climbing through that back emergency exit door. And I'm in, right? And I'm in, right? You know those buses. All right. Well, I like analogies. Take care. God bless you all, everybody. Hopefully you had some fun, got a chance to smile, got a chance to understand, got a chance to, you know, just um, get a little more clarity. All right. I'm sorry about my loony looniness, but, uh, you know, folks, it's all packed in. Right. You get a little bit of everything. So I appreciate you. And hopefully you could appreciate some of the things that I've shared with you this morning. You take care. Stay strong. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.